This is a video about closed captions and subtitles. It will show you how to extract the automatic captions from YouTube, correct and edit them, and how to embed the caption subtitles into your video file. This video assumes you know what closed captions or subtitles are and are in need of a way to edit or embed them into your video file for a specific use such as submission to a broadcast media outlet, etc. The method I will show you uses an Apple Macintosh, so Windows users will need to find alternative programs. First of all, I've uploaded my video to YouTube to take advantage of their automatic captioning function. This saves a huge amount of time over starting from scratch. Otherwise, you would have to type in each sentence and then time code it so that it appears on the screen at the appropriate time. There are numerous services out there that will do this for you for a fee, or you can purchase software to accomplish this. But this method is completely free. Here's the video I've uploaded to YouTube. While signed into your account, you have the option to view and edit the closed captions of the video. By selecting this button with CC on it, you can go to the closed captioning's editing function. If you haven't already selected a language, you'll be asked to set that. Here you have the automatic captions. Just select it and they will appear showing the text and time codes. The automatic captions leave much to be desired as far as accuracy, but they're pretty close. All you need to do is click on a selection you want to edit and make the appropriate correction. You can play the video to listen and preview your changes. Hi, my name is Jim Tansky and I am the Director of Operations for the Griffin Automotive Group here in Rockingham, North Carolina. Punctuation can also be added. Here, Google's computer just couldn't get the speaker's name quite right, so I'll fix that. This can be tedious, but imagine having to do this from scratch. Thanks, Google. Once you've made all the changes you'd like, click on the Actions button and select the format you'd like to download. I'm selecting the SRT format. Save that where you want and now you have a captions file for that video. That may be all you need for your purpose. You can name the caption file the same as the video file and put it in the same folder. And a lot of playback software will automatically use the SRT file for captions, like VLC. Or you may need to submit this file along with your video to broadcast outlet. It's a text file and you can see that it has closed caption text and timecode placement. I have another video showing how to strip out this timecode info for using it in a script. So click the annotation here or the link in the description. Now here's the original file I've uploaded to YouTube. As I open it up in QuickTime, you can see that it doesn't have a caption track. Hi, my name is Jim Tansky and I am the Director of Operations for the Griffin Automotive Group here in Rockingham, North Carolina. We have just remodeled our Toyota store and uh, to embed the captions directly into the file, I'm using a free program called Subler. The link is in the description. I just drag my video file onto the program and the edit window will open, showing the video track and the soundtrack. We want to add a subtitle track, so just drag your SRT file into the window below the soundtrack and it will appear as another track. You should also select the correct language so it will be labeled correctly. Now just click the Send to the Q button and it will pop over there. Now click the play button and in a matter of moments it's done. Now when you come back to the video file, we open it in quick time. Hi, my name is Jim Tansky and I am the director of operations. We now can select the subtitle function. Here's our English subtitle track. That's it. Captions and subtitles are now embedded into the video file and will appear in most playback software when selected. Please leave a message in the comments if this video was helpful or if you have any questions. Here are a couple of other videos on the subject. If you need the caption file in another format, here's an easy way to accomplish that. Or if you'd like to strip out the timecode information from the text so you can use it in a script, click here. Thank you.